what is up you guys so rainy day in atlanta georgia but i'm gonna take a little cruise here and kind of give you an update on what's been going on um, i had a really big huge trip planned that was supposed to be epic and as you can probably tell by the title that was not the case but stick with me i'm gonna go ahead and tell you the whole tale let's get on into it Right, so, like I said, I had a big trip planned. Um, this is how the trip plan went. I would leave Atlanta first thing in the morning and head up to Chattanooga, kind of like the long winding route um, through the North Georgia mountains. Um, get there mid-afternoon where I'd try to meet up with my friends, uh, Kevin and Kelly that live there and have a dope meal together. Um, I've been up there to eat with them before. There's a really good restaurant there. There's a couple really good restaurants there, but it's not too bad. It's, travel up a few hours to some old friends and just catch up and just hang out you know and then I was gonna ask Kevin if he would lead me through the mountains um, since he like knows that area and kind of show me some scenic routes and uh, like where he likes to go ride so we would just kind of wind around whatever was there enjoy the day and then from there I would bid him adieu and head up to my tiny house rental in Knoxville um, the idea was that I would just find this or go to this tiny house like in the hills just be out there secluded area just really soaking up nature have some peace and quiet and a nice view maybe like a dope like mountain view um, and just have a really good night um, at some point in the night after just chilling kind of decompressing a little bit from all the riding I would go out to this restaurant I know of in like downtown Knoxville um, where I had been to a few years ago and just you know eat a nice dinner, kind of not worry about calories and just kind of have a nice big meal uh, to kind of fuel up for the next day's events. After that, go back to the tiny house and zonk out. Uh, I would wake up the next day, travel through Smoky Mountain National Park, enjoying all the vistas and views and get lots of cool camera shots and video of me like passing, set up my tripod, go to all the overlooks and take cool photos of the bike and just kind of do it up. Um, really get lots of content lots of images uh, to share on the vlog and I would take that all the way to Blue Ridge Parkway and then follow the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway to Asheville where I would meet up with my friend Alan and eat at what might be one of my favorite restaurants of all time um, and have a Mercedes pull out even though clearly they shouldn't have uh, <laughs> but eat at one of my favorite restaurants of like basically all time with a good friend of mine and just really enjoy ourselves catch up because I don't get to see Alan very much uh, I have a great huge meal again uh, this place has milkshakes so just have like a dope milkshake get all like sugar high and then from there I would jump on the highway and just blitz back to Atlanta the fast way enjoying the warm weather because it has been really nice and warm and get home before the sun sets because as you probably know I've sure I mentioned it before I'm always riding with the tinted shield because I'm always almost never out at night um, so get home early enough to still kind of do all my laundry settle in welcome myself back home pet the cat and you know maybe get a nice dinner in Atlanta and have it like this cool little two-day vacation kind of situation um, where it's nothing but fun just good times good meals good friends um, it was gonna be great it was gonna allow me to produce a video that's just really nice for you guys edit it um as you've probably noticed i haven't been making very many videos lately it's been almost a month since my last video and there's two major reasons for that um one is honestly like i hate to be like a downer on this channel because this channel is about having fun and exploring and having a good time but sometimes uh, you got to be real with the audience and the honest truth is I've been like just catching a lot of L's in life lately, man um, I've had a pretty strong fit with depression um, Work has been tough and just really stressful and kind of scary about whether there is going to continue to be work um, My house had a couple issues that I've kind of been like dealing with basically long story short is I have a lot of trees that need to be cut down in a very quick amount of time which if you ever removed a tree you know it is not cheap and it is not easy um i've had some relationship issues and like friendship issues and like family issues where it's just like all of my close personal relationships were kind of rocky and that was a little scary just kind of knowing how to navigate all that and just 
remain a good dude even when you have to do like not so good dude things um, it's been tough and the other main reason why there haven't been videos because I really feel like my last two videos did really well um, let's go left here actually they did really well and I wanted to make another video that was gonna do well I wanted to like edit something really well and have it all thought out and just orchestrated nicely to where you were getting really good content you were getting a video worth your time um, which sometimes I honestly felt like I was making videos that just really weren't like serving you very well so I wanted to kind of take the quality over quantity approach and if it took me a month to get this trip going and get this really good video going that's what it was going to be um, so that's kind of what I was hoping for and I woke up the morning of the trip ready to make that video for you and as you can imagine from the title of this video that did not happen that is not how it went um, there was kind of uh, an eye-opening amount of L's associated with the video making process too first thing first I left Atlanta to head up to Chattanooga and halfway there uh, I realized that uh, Kevin and Kelly will not, in fact, be able to meet up. They were both busy with work, which is understandable. Like, I gave them very little notice, so you can't expect people to just drop everything they meet up with you whenever you decide to come to town. So, perfectly fine. Not a big deal. Um, but then, oh, on top of that, the route there was pretty awful. It was just boring, and there was nothing to see, nothing to do. It was just a trash route. It was not a winding route through the North Georgia mountains like I'm used to when I go in that general direction. It was pretty bad. Um, Google Maps did not serve uh, us well this time, team. But again, perfectly fine. Um, it was at this point that I started to see a lot of the weird political signs that were kind of bumming me out. Um, There's lots of Confederate flags, lots of just weird, kind of like honestly racist things. Stuff like uh, a car with a bumper sticker that said, uh, White Lives Matter. Um, uh, another car that said Republican lives matter more um, just lots of just weird politically uncomfortable stuff um, going on but I get to Chattanooga I go to the restaurant I have a good meal um, I'm still trying to remain pretty optimistic you know um, I get stuffed on some pretty dope food and then I leave there to head to the scenic uh, Airbnb in Knoxville and Upon arrival in Knoxville, I realized that the scenic Airbnb did not exist. What existed was a tiny house that was in the backyard of a house, uh, smack dab in the middle of the city with not only no seclusion like I was hoping for, but no view whatsoever unless you consider the back of somebody's house uh, um, a view and a tiny house that doesn't have blinds on all the windows. So you can kind of just like only wonder what's going on uh, if they're just sitting in their house staring at you their guests it's just kind of weird and uncomfortable um, I'm a socially awkward person so that did not help me uh, rest assured at all um, but again I knew a restaurant that was dope in Knoxville I was excited to go eat there again it has been years um, I do a quick Google search only to realize that due to COVID the restaurant has closed um, the restaurant was no more um, which in Atlanta, I don't really see much closing, so it was kind of heartbreaking to see a restaurant that was busy and that I liked a lot, uh, see that they failed, that their business, their dream, their whatever, their mission had failed because of COVID. Um, it was an eye-opener of how truly bad this uh, pandemic is hitting certain people. It hasn't hit me super hard, financially at least, but seeing the fact that somebody's business closed over it, it's just a really big bummer, and I'm sure there's dozens, if not hundreds or thousands of other businesses closing left and right because of the same thing um, but again I try to fight through it I just order some Uber Eats from somewhere else lay down in the bed there which ends up being what has to be a bed for children because it, I'm 5 foot 11 which isn't like dastardly tall but I was basically dangling off the bed from like shin down um, just not a good look not a good move I get the night of sleep and prepare for what's supposed to be the, the really epic day, the day where I carve through the Great Smoky Mountains and up to Blue Ridge Parkway and see huge views and get tons of great footage. And I spend the whole trip there kind of like struggling with the camera issues, the camera's freezing and turning off or not turning on and just GoPros being GoPros, uh, just struggling. But I, I make it happen. Um, 
halfway to Asheville, I check in with my friend who I'm supposed to be meeting up with, um, or attempting to meet up with. We didn't have rock solid plans, just kind of tentative plans. Um, and I'm not getting replies, and it turns out I just used the wrong outlet for contact. I was using Instagram DMs when I should have probably just used like text messaging. Um, he ended up not seeing the messages up until hours after I was already gone from there. And I also realized that yet again, a restaurant that I was super excited about was closed due to COVID. Um, so I got lots of footage like by the skin of my teeth by struggling with the cameras. Um, I get to Asheville, the restaurant's closed. I go to another place that ends up being pretty cool. Uh, but at this point I'm just completely just bummed. I didn't get to see any of the friends that I had planned to see. I didn't get to eat at any of the restaurants I had planned. Um, most of my ride was kind of ruined by me struggling with cameras, not actually getting to enjoy it um, so I can make this video. Um, the last leg of the trip was supposed to be me hopping on the highway and blitzing down to Atlanta, just soaking up the warm weather and getting back before the sun sets. Well, as you might imagine, another big fat L. The trip was cold and rainy and miserable. The entire trip I was getting rained on, I was freezing. Um, my tinted shield was fogged up and I couldn't see out of it. So I ended up riding with the shield up, just getting my face obliterated so that I can see where I'm going. Um, I have my heated gear luckily, but I have that on full blast trying to stay warm. And I get home just filthy, dirty, um, completely aware of the fact that something is wrong with my motorcycle because every single time I would start to pull to a stop at like a red light, I would hear just like this gross clank, which I have determined was a, a ruined link in my chain. It's just all bound up. Um, so every time it came around for its rotation, it would be like clunk, 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 clunk. It's gross um, and not what you want. Um, but I get home and I'm just completely bummed and worst trip ever, you know? At least that's definitely one way you could look at the trip, but I have chosen to look at it a different way. I've chosen to, even today when I'm filming this video about not being bummed out or being bummed out and getting rained on, I'm still choosing to look at this trip in a completely different light and kind of see it this way. I didn't have the most amazing trip up to Chattanooga, but I still got to spend time on my motorcycle and that leg of the trip was pretty warm and honestly pretty comfortable. Um, I didn't get to see my friends in Chattanooga, but I got to ride with just truly amazing people. Um, one person in particular, just truly amazing people all over the place. Um, I came across some folks with, uh, they were like in like a Can-Am Spider group. <laughs> they were talking about their Can-Am Spider forum, which normally I like turn my nose up at those things, but it was just some really cool people. Um, the restaurant that I had planned in Chattanooga was spot on. They have a new storefront that is like amazing compared to their old spot. It's really good to see them thriving. Um, I didn't get to eat where I wanted to in Knoxville, but I still end up getting air, like a nice Airbnb, a, somewhere to sleep. Uh, the Airbnb had a lofted bedroom, which I've always kind of like wondered if I would like that in a tiny house. And turns out I do not. So I got to sleep up there instead of the bed and kind of reaffirm the fact that I don't want that in the tiny house that I'm building. I got Uber Eats brought to the room, which come on, we live in a great world where you can get food just delivered to your Airbnb room in the backyard of somebody's house. Um, it gave me some, a lot of like kind of eye-opening ideas for my own tiny house. So really constructive time. Um, I didn't necessarily have the best ride to Asheville either, but still again, I was out on my motorcycle in the mountains. Like during a pandemic, I still got to have the financial ability to get out on a pretty nice motorcycle and munch miles. Um, I stopped at a little souvenir shop and grabbed something for my boss. Uh, I grabbed a new magnet for my fridge. Um, I got to Asheville and again, I didn't get to see my friend, but I found a new restaurant and I got to enjoy a good meal there and have a really good conversation there. Um, and just again, kind of soak it all in and no, it didn't go to plan, um, but such is life, you know? I still, again, was on a great trip in a beautiful city, and the trip home was like, yeah, it was miserable and rainy and cold, and the worst part about the trip is when I got home, I ended up losing every single bit of footage that I had filmed on the trip. Um, like, I don't even want to go into how I lost the footage, but I ended up losing every single thing I filmed on the entire trip, but 
in a storm where I was freezing cold. I made it home safe and in one piece, man. Um, super dangerous conditions. I made it home. The bike, even though it had an issue, it didn't let me down. Um, I'm on it today in one piece. It fought the good fight and got me where I needed to go. All reliable, holding down the holding down the fort for the home team, you know. Um, and yes, I lost all the footage and I couldn't make that cool epic video for you all in all, but I'm here to kind of still fight the good fight and make this video for you and kind of explain to you that yes, everything can possibly go wrong on a trip, but some things went right and it kind of held together and it just really makes me value the fact that like there's more to life than just everything going smoothly you know there's more than like just going to the restaurant you love or seeing those friends you don't get to see like those are all great things but I had a lot of time to kind of battle internally about like staying positive and I came out on top um even though everything went wrong I am still feeling pretty good I have some really cool ideas for my tiny house I have some really cool ideas for the vlog it kind of gave me like the final push I needed to maybe think about like thinking about brands outside of GoPro looking at other camera options that may honestly do a better job for me um, I know a lot of people that run GoPros and they make incredible footage they're great pieces of like machinery but I feel like as moto vloggers we oftentimes just fall into the trend of just being like brand purists with them for no good reason like GoPro besides selling me a product is doing nothing for me in particular um they're not personally from their office helping me out in any way so maybe i should look at some other alternatives that might you know um that maybe care a little more about moto vlogging in particular and are marketing things particularly for moto vloggers um all in all like in hindsight i had a good time man um yes like i said it could have been better i could have seen my friends i could have had good meals but I'm here in one piece to report back to you um, that everything is going to be all right, you know. Um, COVID is a bitch of a <laughs> sickness, but we can get through this. I got through a really bad trip to be here to report to you that when everything looks lost and everything seems like it's the end, it probably isn't. Um, you can recover. You will recover. You just got to stay positive fight the good fight and you'll be all right man um that's really it for this one i just really wanted to kind of tell you guys that like i'm here the videos are back i'm not gonna just leave you high and dry um i am have some things in the works the videos aren't gonna be a month apart anymore one to two weeks max and they will be really well made and i'm gonna really double down and make it happen um and i'm gonna be kind to myself and understand that sometimes the video that i need to make is a video of me riding around some neighborhood i've never been in um and just kind of being honest with you about where i'm at like with mental health or financially or whatever um just being real with you i feel like you'll appreciate this content more than you'll appreciate some beautiful vistas that like honestly i was miserable recording you know um, first things first, I need to have fun. I need to be happy. That way, what I'm delivering to you can show you to have fun and be happy. Um, and that's what this channel is about. So I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to take an entire month to try to run to the mountains and film this epic thing. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing because that's true. That's who I am. And I think the people that watch every single one of these videos appreciate that I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing on my motorcycle. Just riding around, finding trails, going down there. And stopping at whatever coffee shop I come across you know that content is back and hopefully you're here for it if you're not I'm sorry but that's what you have to look forward to um look at this the rain just like pelted the ground and like carved all these tall weeds grass over just kind of wild but anyway that's it for this one I'm gonna stop jabbing my jaw um last thing for the video is the burger is gone my duck homie is in now y'all have a good rest of your day I will see you on the next one Peace.